Hey everybody, it's Rob here. We got a ton of news for ARPGs. First of all, we have the Christmas event details here starting on November 19th. We also have a date for the campfire chat and a date for the official patch notes. And GGG dropped a new trailer for Path of Exile 2 and they're gonna have a full reveal here next week as well. So there's a ton of stuff happening. So first of all, return to Sanctuary for a brilliant booth. Those of you who have not played Diablo recently or you just want to try the game again, um, you get a ton of boosts here. The first thing starting on November 19th, this is with the mid-season patch coming next week on Tuesday. You can boost your eternal characters, boost to level 50, this is the max level if you don't have the expansion. You get three full powerful builds to choose from on each class. You get all the altars of Lilith unlocked, you get a million gold, thousand orbals and a scroll of Amnesia plus crafting materials. This is going to be eternal realm only, guys, but you can essentially completely boost your character and uh, you can select any character you want. And if you, for example, haven't played hardcore or something and you always wanted to try hardcore, uh, or even if you don't want to necessarily, you can just use this to unlock all the stuff in hardcore. You can get all the items of Lilith on your hardcore account if you ever want to play it uh, for free, basically, with this boost. So that starts um, next Tuesday. Uh, then also we're gonna have a ton of uh, merry time for Diablo. Progression is faster. Leveling has been updated. There's like a ton of like a smaller updates. You can read all the details. I'm gonna link this uh, blog post here uh, below. Um, you also have the uh, midnight blight event returning here for Christmas. So there's gonna be these red cloaked horrors all around the world. They can also spawn in the infernal hordes, and you have uh, basically additional chance to get cinders, burning ether and more rewards. You're also getting this Gillian's Brew. This is like an in-game elixir that you can use. For 30 minutes, you're gonna get 20% um, more loot for herbs and crafting materials. This also includes rawhide, optoxide and these kind of things, I hope. Plus a 15% multiplicative XP increase. So this also works for the Tormented Gifts in the Helltide. So uh, they significantly updated this potion. You might remember it from last year. It only gave extra life and I believe lucky hit. But now you're getting more rewards. And I think you can keep these. You know, the Opal is going to go away end of season. But these ones, it looks like you can keep them uh, basically like all the way into the Eternal Realm. And uh, you can stack up on these. Like last time I remember I had several hundred stacks of these uh, Gillian Brew uh, special event elixirs. You can only get them um, for like, what is it, like almost two weeks, right? Yeah, two weeks from November 19th to December 3rd. Then you can also, if you don't own Vessel of Fated Expansion, you also have limited time access to the Spiritborn. So if you want to like jump in and try the new class, it's amazing, by the way. You can just jump in and play the Spiritborn. Going to be a ton of fun. And uh, you can level up to level 25 and just check how you like the new class and then decide, oh, maybe I want to like, get this class and get it like permanently. Then we also have a Mother's Blessing, another XP event, also starting next week for one full week. You're going to get a gold and an XP multiplicative boost yet again. So the Mother's Blessing uh, just ended, I think, two weeks ago and we're going to get it back. There's also going to be new personalized gifts and discounted fortune finds in the in-game shop. So this is the Christmas event, everything starting next week on Tuesday with the mid-season patch. Then we also have more news here. Adam Fletcher, community manager, just tweeted this one hour ago that the campfire chat, this is for season seven and hopefully also for the public test server of a season seven. They hinted at this, this is gonna be after Thanksgiving, but the campfire chat is next week on Thursday. So. Again, the mid-season patch here is on Tuesday. Then on Thursday, we have this uh, campfire chat and uh, we're gonna learn all about season seven, the new mechanic and the balance changes and the new items. And this is probably gonna start early December. And then we also have confirmation here that the mid-season patch note, this is gonna be all the details about the uh, class balance changes that are coming on Tuesday. Uh, next week on the 19th, it's coming live and the patch note is gonna be available in full detail tomorrow, probably in about 20 hours from now. So that's gonna be exciting. I'm definitely gonna be here. We are already kind of cooking on like a holder barb, like they're buffing the hammer of the ancients by quite a lot. And uh, we'll see exactly what the patch notes say tomorrow. And then we'll make a build guide here and we'll test it on Tuesday. Hammer of the ancients, one of fan favorite builds. I think it gets about a 
30% buff or so, and there might even be a more supporting items that are also gonna buff the build even further. For example, here with the battle mat aspect that is gonna be a multiplier now, and the amulet is gonna be a 1.6 multiplier when you're weapon switching, so that's gonna be super exciting. So we have on November 21st, we have this campfire chat, and then right after, or almost at the same time, GGG also announced that they're gonna have the reveal for Path of Exile 2, and they did drop a trailer, and obviously we want to watch this. It's just one minute trailer, guys, and it uh, it looks really cool. It's definitely a game I'm looking forward to play. It's releasing on December 6th. There's also going to be drops for this live stream, and yeah, let's see the trailer here. More than 10 years ago, we had a dream to make the best action RPG ever. We had a dream. Made with all the lessons we learned from Perry 1, and with the passion from our talented team, we believe Path of Exile 2 is the realization of that dream. Man, looking good. Thank you for being on the journey with us so far. And to think, Hell yeah. this is just the beginning. Ooh. Graphics, guys. And it plays very nice, very smooth as well. Dang. Look at those bosses. In the lava, man. Dude with a flame floor. Who's this guy? That's the evil guy we gotta fight. Okay, so there it is, guys. Path of Exile live reveal. This is gonna be one hour after the Diablo 4 campfire chat. Um, there's a full blog post, I'm also going to link that below here from GTG. And there's also going to be a QA with uh, Ziggy D, uh, Jonathan Rogers and Mark. And uh, they also have Twitch drops enabled during this uh, live stream for their yeah, upcoming game here, November 21st. So the next week is going to be packed, guys. Tomorrow we get the patch notes, on Tuesday we get the mid-season update for Diablo 4. Then we're going to get the campfire chat for Diablo 4 Season 7. And then we're going to get the reveal stream for Path of Exile 2 with all the details how the early access works on December 6th to play. So it's gonna be a cool end of the year, guys, for ARPG fans. There's a ton of stuff coming to our games and I'm looking forward to that. We'll definitely have uh, some builds up. You can already check out this holdup bar. I'm also gonna link that below. And um, we'll see more updates uh, tomorrow, guys. Um, Probably a bit early for Merry Christmas, but we can feel the Christmas spirit already. It's the gifts that keep on giving. Hope you enjoyed the update, guys. Take care. See you soon. GG. If you liked this video, make sure to subscribe, leave a like or a comment. I'm also live on Twitch almost every day, so come and say hi.